guys. So today we are gonna do rooming with Bandit, and if you haven't already, go check out my video um, with me grooming Niter. And like I said in that video, if you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. Subscribe to my channel. But um, um, what I did with Niter is I. Use this, of course. I got little rubber bands because I'm gonna show you braiding his tail now. And I said that in that video, I said that he sheds a lot more because he does because I don't groom him as much as Niter Bug. But yeah, um, so you just go. What I do with Niter is. I go like this. Bandit, come in, stand up. Stand up. Wait. So, it's kind of hard to do it with a dog who's not listening very well. So, I smooth it. I smooth it like this, like an S. You know, smooth it and get all that snarls out. Because he's got a lot more snarls because he's the one who likes to run around a lot more. And also, soft side. You use the soft side if you do their neck. Because you do not want to choke them. And then you can sleep all you want. And you just go like that and brush their ears very gently. You can brush their face, but be careful for their eyes. Go right by their eyes, but not at their eyes. And, of course, he shuts his eyes. So if I get him to shut his eyes, I pretty much can do it if I'm very, very, very gentle. Because I do not want to hurt him. But you just go groom them, of course. But just keep grooming them. Okay, now we will show you the braiding of their tail, of his tail. And if you want to see Knight, just Knight's video, you can go check out. Go subscribe to my channel and look at how to properly. Uh, braid your dog's tail, part one. I mean, to groom your dog, part one. And then, this will be part two. So, see you in a minute. Okay, guys. So, we're back. Um, we're gonna groom what we do, because I'm braiding his tail now. But, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna just groom their tail, like we did. Like we do, and there's no proper way to groom the tail. Just feel where their tail is, like the actual tail, and be very careful there because the Pom Pekingese's tails aren't very strong. I mean, they're real small compared to their fluff. It makes them look like they got big, fat tails, but they got real skinny tails. I mean, all this fur makes it look bigger, but it's not at all. It's real skinny, like a teacup to all his tail. The real size. But the fur makes it look huge. Because that's... There. Pretty, you know. But... You just... Like I showed you in Night's video. Um, you just braid, 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 braid. Read. Like a person's tail. And in a second, I'll show you how much, how big their real, how long their real tail is. Not including the fur, the actual tail, the bone. He doesn't really care about the rubber band. I mean, like Knight. Knight doesn't really care, but he's real scared of it. He doesn't like when I put it in. But in a second, I'll show you where the tail is. Okay, but now, see you in a sec. So I said earlier in the video I would show you where their actual tail is. Their actual tail 
it ends right here. It is not very big at all. As you can see, it's not very big. It's a very small tail. Now we'll show you putting it in a bun. Okay. So putting it in a bun, you just grab another small rubber band. Any color you want, if you got certain colors that you like to do, then do that. I mean, it doesn't matter what color. But I like the small rubber bands because they stay in the tail better. So I just put their tail like this, put their braid, bend it around, go like that, and go like this. And just like that. It just keeps it out of the way and keeps it unsnarled and we doesn't keep it we don't keep it in for long. I mean only for like a couple hours. That's the least. But yeah. Peace out.